Ecash. Uh, this crypto personally, look, I, I, I think there's a limitation to how high this can go. Um, however, this has gained quite well in the last sort of few months. The question, and there is a halving imminently. So the question is, is does that halving combined with a Bitcoin halving only like 10, you know, I think it's about seven days later or so, does that kick this on in a really big way? Uh, so we'll take a look at all of that in this video. Before I do though, guys, if you're new here uh, and you don't know what the spreadsheet is, these are the uh, first 26 coins that I actually did videos about on the channel and in the videos I bought these coins. Um, the reason for that is I thought they were going to do very, very well. And you can see what your profit would have been if you'd popped $100 into these coins when I released the videos. All you had to do was sit on these coins for about a year and a half, a little less actually for most. And your total profit from 100 into each of the 26 would have been over 123 grand. Now in under a year and a half, that's bloody good. Now, I sold these and I no longer share the coins I own on, on uh, YouTube, but I do share it on my website, which is copymycrypto.com. So when I find a coin that I think is going to make a ton of cash, um, I jump onto the site, tell my members about the coin, the profits, and the percentage of my money I'm going to put in. They can copy along exactly. They make the exact same profit as me. If you've never been on to copymycrypto.com, pause this video, do that now. You'll see on there what the members have earned since joining. You'll see what I've said in the past. It's all public records, all on the history of this channel. CopyMyCrypto.com is where I do all the work. I dive into the markets and when I find winners, I buy them. This means the members don't have to do anything, which is why there are thousands of members on the site because they're making great money in crypto and they're not having to do anything. And we're in a, uh, a bull cycle. If your portfolio isn't sorted, if you're not confident in it or if you're just doubting it all, check out CopyMyCrypto.com because it may well be a service that you need. Now eCash. So this is a fork of a fork of a fork of Bitcoin, basically. Um, so um, eCash is the rebranded version of Bitcoin Cash ABC itself, a fork of Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash. Uh, it calls itself a cryptocurrency that's designed to be used as electronic cash. Uh, eCash strictly aims to be a means of transaction used to pay for goods and services. Um, they were rebranded on July 1st of 2021, trying to distinguish themselves from the predecessors. Uh, the base units of eCash are called bits and replace the unwieldy decimal places of Bitcoin Cash ABC. So instead of sending 0 0.00001 uh, BTC, you would send 10 bits with eCash. Um, and they integrate a proof of stake consensus layer called Avalanche not to be mistaken, obviously, with Avalanche, the blockchain. Um, and upon rebranding, they converted all uh, the Bitcoin Cash ABC tokens to XEC at a ratio of 1 to 1 million. That is why there is a max supply of 21 trillion. So it's a million times um, the supply of Bitcoin. So... They've got really aspirational goals. They, they're trying to scale transaction throughput from 100 transactions per second to more than 5 million transactions per second. They're trying to improve the payment experience by reducing transaction finality time. So obviously just speeding up the overall process and, you know, and basically the time that's going to take for the, for the uh, transaction to be done and extending the protocol and establishing fork free upgrades. Um, these are lofty goals. Look, if they can get to 5 million transactions per second, this all of a sudden becomes a titan. No question about it. That's that's an insane throughput. There, there is a very, very, very real and legitimate use case here if they can get to that level of throughput. Nothing else comes close to that. Um, the question is, is obviously, can they do it? Uh, it's led by lead developer Amori Sechet. Sechet who was the lead developer on Bitcoin Cash, and he fought the blockchain to establish uh, Bitcoin Cash ABC. Um, he decided to rebrand Bitcoin Cash ABC to establish a brand new identity for eCash, explaining that a reduction of decimal places would help with its, with its adoption. <clears throat> no other money has eight decimal places. Why should crypto? 
Uh, cryptocurrencies with a lower unit price also enjoy higher bull market appreciation. Uh, because the eCash team is incentivized by both tech and price improvement, this improvement was a no-brainer. Sensible. Not knocking that in any way, shape, or form. The issue I have here is they're trying to become a payment tool, which I don't see personally. Look, so this is meant to be simple, instant, secure. It's meant to be a payment system, right? Um, new battle tested a crypto uh, that can be utilized as um, sound money, effectively. That's what they're, they're aiming to do. Uh, the question really is, is look, man, there, is there anyone that's going to um, want to take this as a payment solution? Because there's a few ways you can look at this, right? <clears throat> the goal being, you know, to scale to this level, it, look, Let's just be clear. If they scale to this level, the 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 the, potent, the price potential of this is through the roof. But I you can't even I can't even look at that as real until it's getting I don't know even to a quarter of a million transactions per second. But right now, the, the, it's too it's too significant. I just can't see a world that that happens. But look. <clears throat> They're, they're partnered with lots of places and they've got, you know, they work with lots of places. But this boils down to really one simple question from my perspective is just, if this is a payment solution, who in the hell is going to take it as a payment? I mean that, like who? They went from peak bull cycle <clears throat> to drop, you know, they were a tenth of the value. They were a tenth. And <clears throat> as a fluctuating asset, that's a big problem. If you are a business, you do not want to take payment in something that's going to drop to a tenth of its value during a bear cycle. Now, maybe we are in a different world right now. It is possible that with the mass adoption of bitcoin through bitcoin etfs through the inevitable bitcoin etf like futures that will probably come out of it um on the on the traditional markets that we don't see the same level of volatility in the crypto markets however we don't have any evidence of that so all we can go off of is historical evidence historical evidence suggests that during um a bear cycle a coin can drop hugely and this one in particular dropped to, ten to a tenth of what it was so then the question really becomes like if you are a business are you willing to take a payment in something that can drop 90 percent in value because all of a sudden every payment you've taken if you've never banked that money if you've never converted that money is you're 90 percent down you're down that's a big thing for a business, even from an individual perspective. How many individuals around the world are going to be like, mate, you owe me 20 quid or $20. Can you send it to me in eCash? I just can't see that world right now. <clears throat> now, two thing, one thing that would specifically change that is obviously that if they reached 5 million transactions per second, this would be mass adopted in every system. Visa would be jumping on this. MasterCard would be jumping on this because the, that level of throughput would would crush what they can do. Banks would want to jump on this. And that's the thing. So if they did that, yeah, this goes wild. I just don't see that happening. There is one day, four hours till the Bitcoin halt, uh, till the eCash halving. Um, this might be a catalyst for this to kick on. Um, and then, you know, maybe, maybe this has a pump and maybe this can pump because then, you know, we've only got about, after that, we've got another nine days till the Bitcoin halving. So maybe just the catalyst that it is would be enough to kick this on. But as of right now, I find it hard to believe we're going to see a new all time high because right now, not really a fat lot has changed. They're doing development thing, you know, but as of right now, we're looking at 
coins popping out the woodwork that are either new layer ones new layer twos DeFi, gaming ai payment solutions are kind of a way of the past is this is something that was a narrative in 2017 with things like nano dash now doesn't seem logical that this is going to necessarily do something huge now the quite one thing that they do have going for it, the, the tiny, tiny price combined with the huge supply tends to mean that you get a lot more retail buyers because for whatever reason, there is there is a, a correlation between retail buyers and tiny, tiny price points. And maybe it's just that people feel that they've, they've got a better chance of making money if, they, if they've got more than a like a whole coin or multiple whole coins as opposed to like if they bought a bitcoin and they're only going to be able to get one percent of one um but I, I i've said this for a while i see this sort of looking at around half its all-time high maybe a bit less now it's all-time high was um nearly six 0. 0.0006 so I'm looking at 1.5 really as the initial target. I think it, there's a world that it can get to 0 0.003, which is a little more than a, it's just shy of like, like between a four and a five X. Uh, but I think the initial target has to be around, you know, one five. I think that's a fair initial target. That, that still puts it a market cap of $3 billion. Um, which is pretty good, given that, again, I don't think right now it offers a solution that anyone's jumping on board yet. I think there is, there is a world where we could see, in theory, cryptocurrencies accepted as payments. But again, from my perspective right now, who would take it? Who and What would people be willing to take? Stable coins, they hold their value. Bitcoin, long-term investment. Ethereum, long-term investment. Beyond that, I think you're struggling. I think businesses are going to be not not too many businesses are going to be keen certainly not the big businesses which are needed to get the smaller business to the smaller businesses and medium-sized businesses to take this on board um so yeah i think one one five is a fair initial target three could be hit but at the moment yeah i just think the use case is far like i think I can't see a world that they get to 5 million transactions within the next two years. <clears throat> if they did it this bull cycle, no all-time high guaranteed. But I don't think that's achievable as of right now. Um, but the halving, then the real Bitcoin halving in nine days after could be enough of a catalyst to bang this up 100 to 150%. And then we can look at maybe, you know, get to 0 0.0003 maybe it does hit a new high but as of right now i just can't see a logical reason that it does but let me know what you guys think in the comments down below and um, guys if you want to make the same profits as me in this bull cycle you can all you have to do is join up at copymycrypto.com that's the site i run where i share with all my members every single coin that i own when i find a coin that i think is going to make me a lot of money I jump onto my site, tell my members about the coin that I'm going to buy, the profits that I think it can have, and the money I'm putting in, and they can copy it along exactly. When I sell a coin, I do the same thing. I tell them what coin I'm selling at what price, and they get out at the same time. So there is no work for the members. There are thousands of members on the site. Many of them don't know much or anything about crypto, but are making great money in the markets. And you can see that on the site, along with the things I've said in the past. We are in a bull cycle right now, and if your portfolio is incomplete if you're lacking confidence in it if you don't even know where to get started now is the actually the time to make, do something about it because in 10 days there's a heart, uh, bitcoin halving and after that the markets are going to kick on and get wild so go read copymycrypto.com have a look at everything that's happened what i've done in the past because it's probably a service that you want to try and that's it for me guys have a good day bye bye